Aloha guys! Today we are working on a Drexel dresser from 1972. And you know we don't do dressers that often, but really they are the bread and butter for furniture flippers. If you need to make money fast, dresser is the way to do it. This one, though it looks like it's in really rough shape, the structure of it is great. It has great bones. No major repairs are needed. So we're going to try to turn this around in four days make it a quick flip, and make a profit right away. And you guys know, we normally like doing really unique pieces with lots of details, lots of intricacies, but sometimes you just need to make some money. So we're gonna take this dresser, give it a quick flip, beautify it for somebody, and move on to the next big project. We always thoroughly clean our pieces first because if we don't, it seems like the, our sandpaper gets all gooped up with the grime that's left on the surface. So today we're using LA's totally awesome degreaser cleaner. I believe we got this at the Dollar Tree. You can use any degreasing detergent you know, such as Dawn dish soap or any TSP alternative. Just be sure to rinse it thoroughly after you've scrubbed it down. One of the first steps with cleaning is we always remove the hardware too. That way it's, we've got a nice clean surface for sanding. And in this case, we're actually going to keep the hardware. And normally we change out the hardware to give it a whole new look. But this time, we're gonna save on costs. And it, you know, it goes really well with this style. So we're just gonna clean these babies up to make sure they shine and look brand new again. Although we want this to be a quick flip, we don't wanna cut any corners. We wanna make sure that we give someone a piece that feels brand new and not just on the outside, but the inside as well. So we make sure to vacuum out the insides, wipe it down, also the insides of the drawers so there's no dust, cobwebs, dirty socks, anything in there. With these old pieces, sometimes the veneer edging tape comes loose. And when that happens, it's very easy to reattach it by heating it back up with an iron. And that usually reactivates the glue. In this case, it wasn't really working. We left it on there pretty long. It got hot, but it didn't completely reattach it. Really hot, when I checked it, I burned my thumb. So we had to find another way. We knew we had to get some wood glue in there to really close this up. But mom, why in the world didn't we just use a syringe? I don't know. I can't remember where I put those stupid syringes. I found them right after we were done. <laughs> but anyway, we found a way to get glue in there and then squeeze some of the excess out, put the clamps on and let it dry. Worked like a dream. We love to take wood down to raw wood, but in this case, it's not wood at all. It's laminate here on top. So we're gonna give this a very thorough scuff sand and then just paint it. Similarly to that edge veneer banding issue, 
there were some weird splinters on the side of this dresser. So we just used the same process where we tried sliding in some wood glue. We wiped off the excess and then we clamped it down just to get those wood splinters to get as close and tight to the rest of the body as possible. And then we'll just give it one good sand afterwards and it'll be like they were never there. Although we are going to paint the body of this dresser, we do want to refinish these drawers in a natural wood color. So we're going to take these puppies down to raw wood. And look at my new toy! Pops got me a surf prep for Christmas! Woohoo! Thanks Pops, I'm going to enjoy it too. One side of this dresser has that splintering. The other side has a big gouge out of the front on the trim. So in order to fix that, we want to make a mold of what the trim should look like. And then we're going to fill that with Bondo and put it over the area that has the gouge. And then it will look seamless as though there was no issue to begin with once we paint over it. So now that the putty's mixed real well, Barclay, don't eat that stuff. <laughs> just smelly mom, just checking it out. And then we're gonna let this dry. I think it only takes about 20 minutes. And then we'll peel it off, fill it with Bondo and stick it right on the area that's gouged out and let that dry. An hour later, after we were sure the Bondo had dried, we just peeled that mold right off. And let's take a closer look. I love that it has that sharp edge of that inside trim work. Now I just need to sand down all the excess and it'll look brand new once we add a coat of paint. On your mark, get set and go. Danny and I had a little competition. I had to try out the surf prep compared to the old mouse sander. So we started out with identical drawers and took them back to raw wood to see who could do it the fastest. Unfortunately, I'm still learning how to use this new thing. It didn't work any faster than mouse sander but I didn't have to do nearly as much hand sanding. So the surf prep sander is a little different than most sanders because it has these attachable sponge pads that can be used to sand down curves, curved edges. I am still in the learning phase with this, so I don't really know how to use it. There are a lot of different screens sandpaper thicknesses, different thicknesses of sponges. So I'm learning, I'm looking at YouTubes, 
and I'm gonna come back in a couple months and do a very thorough review. But so far, I really do like it. It does have its limitations on these drawers. They have some very sharp edges. We had to be very careful because even with the sponge pads, it was rounding off those sharp edges a little bit. I like that it's lightweight and it's easier to hold in one hand than our big orbital sander. I also appreciate that it connects easily to our Festool dust extractor, that we didn't have to buy a whole new dust system from Surf Prep. We didn't even need an attachment. We just threaded it right on to our hose. This dresser has seen better days. At the ripe old age of 50, it has some wear and tear, lots of little nicks here and there. So we use wood filler all over this body. We're just gonna sand down that wood filler so it's ready for paint. These six drawers required so much hand sanding. We were hopeful that the surf prep would really make this easy on us, but the edges are sharp. I think the surf prep is gonna be great for rounded, curved edges, but these sharp 90 degree angles have to be hand sanded, otherwise we'll lose them entirely. Each drawer took like an hour and a half to get all that old stain out of there. I guess I don't have to go to the nail salon. <laughs> Look how the hand sanding filed that nail down. But mom, you're so in style. That's how all the teenagers are getting their nails done these days. Cruella de Vil? Pointy for sure. <laughs> the last step before staining these bare wood drawers is just to check them out with the mineral spirits to wipe it on and look for any flaws that may be in the wood. And the added bonus is that it gets rid of all the dust and cleans it up so it's ready for stain. For this project, we're using the Minwax Gel Stain in Chestnut Color. And this has been our favorite lately. It's just a really nice medium color. We recently discovered these staining pads. They are just fantastic. You basically wipe on the stain and it kind of just puts the exact right amount on and wipes off the excess all in one step. Time to get ready for paint, my favorite part. So we gave it a quick wipe down to make sure to get rid of all the sanding dust. And then we're using our favorite green frog tape to create straight lines on the inside of these drawers. Danny and I love to do a little research on our furniture. So Drexel started as a small scale company making fine furniture in 1903. Over the years, they gained a wide following for their high quality product. At the time our dresser was made, Drexel furniture could be found around the world in famous hotels and government buildings and in millions of homes. Ba -ba -da -da! The final color reveal. We're using Tally Green by Melange One. Mom, 
What do you think of this green? <laughs> I am not sure. You know, it looks very drab to me. It looks like a like something you'd find in a at an army base. Hey, they use these dressers in government buildings, so it kind of works. Eh, we'll see. <laughs> I actually really like this green. To me, it's not too yellow, not too blue. I think it's gonna look awesome with the wood drawers. Whatever. <laughs> Wow, ran. <laughs> don't even know. <laughs> I don't think I ran like a cat since I was like in middle school. <laughs> since we're keeping the same hardware, it definitely needs to be cleaned up. So I tried using Brasso for the first time, which just recommends applying it to the piece scrubbing a little bit and wiping it off. Unfortunately, that did not make them clean like I was hoping, lesson learned. So I went back to our usual manner of doing things, which is boiling the pieces in a pot, half water, half vinegar, letting them soak and boil for about 20 minutes, pulling them out using, and this time I did use Brasso, and really it seemed to work just like Barkeeper's Friend, so you can't go wrong either way scrub it on and then rub it off with steel wool and give it one last wipe down and it got it back to its original brass glory. So originally we decided not to take off the caps on this feet because I wasn't sure we'd be able to get them back on very well. And so we're just touching them up with a little bit of gold gilding wax. And this is from Dixie Bill, and this stuff is great. Problem solved. I can't believe how quick this flip went. We're already at the stage of putting on this hardware, which means we are practically done. So we're just gonna screw in this hardware and look how good it looks all cleaned up and with that new stain on there. So let's get her staged and ready for pictures. We hope you guys enjoyed this simple, quick flip and feel inspired to do your own. And for those of you wondering about the numbers, we paid $20 for this dresser, put $25 of materials in, and we plan on listing it for $375. We'll make sure to update in the description how much we were able to sell it for. And thank you so much for being here. It means the world to our tiny little business that you choose to watch, that you choose to like these videos, comment, and tell us what pieces of furniture are your quickest flips and most profitable flips. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Like I said, it makes a world of difference to our tiny little business. Absolutely. Aloha.